hello guys this is our like king once again um, today I'm going to create a video or make a video of uh, pulling data from the database using ASP.NET and display it in a text box meaning I'm going to use two different text box to kind of uh, show the scenario where I'm going to pull the information from uh, the database using a text box as the filter you pass the name and then you press the search button it will pull the data from the database and display it into another text box that will be uh, the video for today the, the title of the video will be display data from database in a text box using a text box okay so now uh, to begin I'm gonna use the same database I used last time uh, with the web uh, website I started which I um, did uh, the filter grid view and um, with multiple uh, text box okay with one or more text box and that's gonna be the same uh, database which which called video DB okay so you can see all all the tables in there okay class parent student subject details subjects teacher and um, so on all right so um, to do this I'm gonna also use the same piece of software or web page or ASP.NET website I, 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 I used last time which is this one admin soft technology Inc all right so to save time I already put two text box here you have uh, this text box will have the name so you would have to type the name here the name will be typed into that text box and the search button will be pressed and the town would will be displayed here so I'm just leaving this part here, you know, but what I'm going to do is using the same things that I used before, the same information, um, if I would say, uh, the same audio.net uh, information I had last time. So now the only uh, thing that I'm going to change is instead of display the information in a grid view as it is here, I'm going to display the result from the database in a text box so that... Um, you know it's just there in the textbook that is very useful if you were to update information or you have a, a page where you don't want to use a grid view you are only gonna, going to generate one result when you run the search then it is um, ideal to use a text box display those um, the result of those different fields in text box very nicely um, layout and you know which gonna be very professional all right so uh, let's begin and see uh, how it's going to go all right so since I already have the text box and I have uh, I mean the text box is already in the search button now I'm gonna double click our search button and now we get to hit um, as I already mentioned what I'm gonna have in there is um, is the same audio.net code all right so I'm gonna have that same audio.net code um, you know I'm gonna pretty much copy it not all of it but I'm gonna copy what I need to uh, you know show what I'm gonna show so with this part right there um, you know let me close that response all right so is this same query pulling the information from the database uh, what I'm gonna change is this one right there I'm gonna change the text box that gonna do the filter this time and um, up here too I'm gonna change this uh, let me do a SQL command on that it's gonna be a SQL command okay instead of some data read there I'm gonna do a SQL command all right SQL command CMD go new SQL command you know just edit that <coughs> to do what I'm doing so basically it's pretty much the same thing um, what it's gonna do the SQL command will be um, executing this query here uh, when they, the data pass um, from the text box into that query and that query will be executed using the SQL command the SQL command will be using this query to execute the data um, the, to execute the information into the database so now from here I'm gonna do a SQL data reader okay SQL data reader um all right sql data reader um, i'll do a reader 
data reader um, I'm gonna call it RD all right you could do equal new SQL I mean equal um, not new but I'll say the equal um, CMD that execute reader I would do this like that I mean you can do it these two ways you can do it like that um, okay SQL data reader equal SQL data reader RD equal HCMD that execute reader. Um, at the same time, you can also do that to save. Um, just close that part right here, and then here you would say RD equal okay equal CMD that execute reader, which is exactly the same thing. Um, okay, exactly the same thing. The only thing, the other one, you put both of the uh, thing together here. You separate it. You just break it down into two pieces. All right. So now. Up here, we're gonna do a loop, okay? Uh, just like when you're using SQL database, uh, you can do a, a, a while loop, okay? So we're gonna be doing a while loop here to, uh, you know, to loop through each um, record. So if multiple records are coming by, well, we already know that it's only gonna return one value, one piece of information from the database. So with that being said, we are going to use a while loop to kind of um, looping through the uh, result and then uh, display that into the into the text box that we have all right so to do this we're gonna do a while um, okay while rd dot read all right well rd dot read I I think I'm gonna I got some extra piece of code here and this is gonna have to be capped as well okay well rd dot read the read then we want to do something with it. So in that case, what I'm gonna be doing here, um, what I'm gonna be doing here, uh, let me see where my time is. Uh, okay, so basically, all right, so right here, now we're gonna be using the text box into this piece to kind of get the data from the database and then CMD, uh, which is the comment, will be passing that data into the reader the reader, as the reader is reading the data, we're gonna load this information into the text box there. So now we're gonna do a, t a txt, um, I think town to that text, okay, will equal to um, rd, let's say rd dot get string, I think. Um, let me see. I should, uh, that will be get string. Yeah, RD get string. All right, and then that string that we are going to get, like if you if you put that here, you see right here in that string is waiting for an integer. That integer that is waiting for is whatever position is of this uh, result. So now in that result we are returning about four different fields. So now the position started at zero, level zero. You have zero, one, two and three so now depending on what we want to display so now let's say you were to display all your fields so you would have your text box layout and then set the uh, you know the position like if it's at position zero that would be the id you would have the text box that you want to pass the id to set to rd dot get string equals zero you would set that to zero and then s uh, close um okay close the code all right but in our case, we want to pass the town, which is at position three. Okay, zero, one, two, and three. So we are passing that as at position three. And then we are going to close our code. All right, we are going to close the code. So in that, I think we are pretty much done since we already have that code, okay? Query will be sent to the database using the SQL command and that SQL command sent the data to the database and it's returning the result, then the SQL reader or SQL data reader will be reading the data from that command, the result returning, okay? And then as it reading the data right here is looping through each row, but we know already there's only going to be one row return. So now it's gonna loop in into each row of the data and then load it where we want it. So if we were to be using, let's say, um, label, let's say we were using label and then return multiple records, we could do um, auto-generated label, like a uh, label one, okay? 
uh, let's say label lb for example equal new, new label all right new label so we could we could apply these techniques and then do an lb okay lb that text would have been equal to whatever we adding here okay whatever we adding here in that case what would what was going to happen is what was going to happen is every time a new row come it will load it into the text box okay it will load it into a new label so there will be multiple label displayed so depending on how many row return it will create a new label for each row so there will be all those different id on top right after each other okay but in that case since we ha we have a label it would be putting them on top of each other so to be p to protect that we would have to use what we call a panel using the panel and add the label to the panel then that would actually do one thing align those label one on top of uh, one after it after the other to make sure we could see every label you could put you know a space of padding in between that create a space so you could see each label very nicely okay but in our case we already have a hard coding text box we could you do the same thing for text box as well we could use text box as well as label but in our case we're gonna be using a hard code text box which which is the text box we already have here so that text box we already created is a hard coding text box we put it on the on the design and then whatever we put here when we filter is going to bring the result to that we could use that as a hard code which is the text name as a hard, hard code and then that one we could generate what we call um you know uh, auto generated label or, or text box that would when the data come from the database it will display it to the data to to each column or to each text box one after the other so we would have multiple text box depending on how many rows return from the database all right so now um we're gonna have to see that in action uh just to uh, make sure you, you see i'm gonna leave that label here too so you may see it okay you're gonna see the same result go to the label okay hopefully that should work all right so let's uh run our uh query and see what happened if we done well or not all right okay it's gonna take a little time um as i said last time my computer is really slow i have so many different things running there my database my website so it's really 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 slow all right um let me see all right there it is all right so now we with this now we have the software remember this part right here that was the past one the one i did last time that show multiple text box search you can search in each text box individually or with all of them fill but now in our case um i'm gonna look for for example we have the list here i'm gonna look for let's say john smith um let's look for john smith as you can see here the town of john smith is miami when i search for john smith i'm expecting miami to display here is the same if i search for someone else so now if i press this button here okay so you can see it load miami here you see so i search for john smith it brings me miami so that will be the same for everything if i do john doe all right uh, all right if i do john doe and his town is uh, chicago chicago then there you go you have chicago here so that's how it works if you would want to uh, not use um a grid view or any other thing you still have the option using text box or label to load the data right here on the form and remember as the grid view if you were to return multiple value multiple volume in all these value you were to return them then in that case what you would have to do is to use auto generated um text box or text box or labels you would do the same like i did here you would you know put a panel on your s on your site and then create auto generated co column and label like this lb or l you know label lb equal new label then then you will say lb that text equal whatever the value is so in order for you to see it in your panel 
in your panel you would you know say the panel name that add and you would add the label onto your panel um why not display that let me, let me show um a little test of that so you can see um let me go here um hope things go well In that piece, piece right here, let me add a panel here. Um, panel here. All right, so I add a panel. I'm gonna name it. Uh, let me just leave it panel one, just to show this what I'm trying to say. So now I would say panel one that add. Uh, The add control, I mean, I'll say that control that add panel one that control control that add. All right, um, the control I'm gonna add into the panel will be LV. All right, so now that's my control. All right, so with this now, w if I do another search, uh, if I search the same thing, you would automatically see that display in the panel too, as well. Let's say panel. One that control that add um, compilation error. The name panel one does not exist in the con context. All right. Um, let me see what's going on here. All right. Um, blah blah blah. Hold on. Let me check my time. Um, all right. So. Um, See anything wrong with it? Um, okay, TX done. Okay, LB dot text equal RB dot get string three panel one that control that add LB. All right, so that will be okay. I don't know why it's um, acting stupid. All right, but um, let me see. All right, so John Smith. Let me go. a little slow oh there it is working all right so you can see now this Chicago Chicago here is added to the panel so the panel remember I added the panel of the top so this is Chicago here and this is in the panel based on that panel so now if I would do um, John Smith all right the sense is in Miami then you will see Miami here too as well so it, it could be as many as you want if you would have many things returning at the same time then it would create two labels okay it would create two label one on one here and the other will be under it so you will have Miami uh, example if you had Chicago return as well then you will have Chicago under it so that will be um, the way to do it if you have to return if you know you're gonna return multiple value and you want the user to see all these multiple value in text boxes or labels you would have to use a panel and then do an auto generated um, you know either text box or labels or whatever you want to use as long as it's something that can auto generate on the form or the application and then be able to display this information I think that will be it for today and uh, once again my name is Adlai King and um, I make this video based on the request I got from one of my uh, viewer and um, I hope this helped and if you have any question just let me know alright thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video bye bye